Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Two Guys on Beer, coming to you from National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia. I'm Johnny Bellotta. With me, as always, Dave Martirana, who I'm not going to give any crazy intro to this time because yeah, it seems to... Uh, uh, lucky, lucky you? Yeah, lucky you, Dave, this time. So, um, today we have uh, the Batemans from uh, the, the George Bateman & Sons uh, Brewery. The Salem the, Bridge Brewery. The Salem Bridge... Wow. The Salem Bridge Brewery? Owned by owned by yeah we got all George these Batemans and Sons sort of thing so we have the combined harvest ale it's an English pale ale uh, 4.7 uh, ABV 4.7 percent ABV uh, typical of uh, pale ales but um, this is a very family oriented uh, brewery that has pubs all across Northwest England as well sure is sure is I mean the founded back in 1874 by um, by a gentleman and his wife who sold off. Uh, whatever they were working on at the time when I hadn't bought a brewery and just had a go at it and they didn't have a ton of knowledge about brewing beer aside from the brewing that um, the woman his wife Suzanne had been doing uh, in their house because again remember this is back in the 1800s everybody brewed beer in their house it was just something that you did it was a safe way of, of consuming liquid at, at low alcohol by volumes it was a safe way of getting calories a cheap way of getting calories um, anyway they kept on the brewer mm -hmm. um, who was blind, by the way, nonetheless, Interesting. still a fantastic brewer, and it's remained in the family. Um, this particular beer follows the style, um, well, it basically follows the style of the Burton-upon-Trent right. English Pale Ale, uh, very hard water, the hard water lens to yeah. bring out a little bit of the hop and um, being very clean and crisp, yeah. but at the same time, this is, this is not your normal barley only no, I mean this is multi-grain. So when they say multi-grain, it uses uh, it's using malted barley, it's using oats, it's using wheat, uh, it's using rye. Uh, and so we usually get one of these things at a time, maybe two, to have right. all four. And today we're getting all four, and uh, it's it's really a good, fantastic combination when you think about it, because uh, these are all different ingredients that are put solely in beer, but for this one, all of them combined yeah. should make for what we have been yeah. affectionately calling here, this is total in a glass. You know, total, your complete nutrients, 100% of all vitamins a, and minerals. A multi-grain beer, I don't know if you can, you probably can't read that, but right at the bottom it even says multi-grain. And it's, it's <laughs> I very, love the cereal analogy. Yeah. So, uh, the scent is really nice, very sweet scent, uh, the sweet floral. The color is very golden, uh, keeping a, a moderate head on it, it's but right. uh, the scent really, I mean, a lot of a lot of English pale ales tend to have a very rocky head to them, but you know, with the different grains going into this, you just you don't know. Yeah, and the the, the scent really lends itself to that that oat flavor, that wheat flavor. You're starting to get that that aroma out of this. So, um, after smelling, well, let's give it a drink. Very light. That 4.7 percent, definitely like this is not an overbearing beer at all. Very refreshing. Mouthfeel is very good. It is very refreshing. The mouthfeel is actually soft. It's not, you know, it's not overly carbonated, and the, the feeling of the beer is soft. It doesn't. It it, it, it refreshes. I don't feel like it dies. It doesn't dry no. out. Um, and you can taste like what almost tastes like a multi-grain kind of play in your mouth. It's a little bit toasty. It's a little bit like, you know, multi-grain checks almost. Yeah. This is a perfect example of um, liquid bread, uh, liquid multigrain bread. It has a very biscuity, very bready sort of feeling to it, it uh, or taste to it. Um, I believe the hops do do very well, even though we we really looked for the the type of hops that they they put in this, but uh, they didn't. We didn't get much They're information. They're not concentrating but like, you know, on them at all, um, and the sweetness in this, yeah, is actually surprising. This is a lot sweeter than I normally expect, and. Well, I mean, there's really not much more to say to it than that. I mean, there really isn't. Let's rate it. It's a clean beer. Yeah. So what? if we're a clean beer, total in a glass, what do you give it a rating? You know, at 4.7%, at the lightness, at the crispness, and yeah. yet at the same time, at that really nice multigrain bready kind of quality to it, I would drink this a lot. And this is a great beer to step off of, I think, a macro brewing into. Absolutely. Um, I would give this an 87, 88. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna go once again with a 90. I think that it's 
Uh, it's impressed me. The math feels great. I said that a couple times. It's a very refreshing beer. I like the concept behind using multi-grain, and I think that this is an all-around win for me, so 90 for me. That's it. That works. Hey, everybody, please. Uh, we'd love to hear from you uh, more and more, so you can send us an email if you like uh, on our contact page from our website. You can also check us out on Facebook, and uh, you can also hit us up on Twitter. You can find us there, too. So we'd love to hear from you. Please let us know what beers you'd like us to try, if you've tried any, and join the conversation. So I'd like to thank National Mechanics one more time for hosting us. And for two guys on beer, I'm Johnny Bellotta. I'm Dave Martirano. Go, Go enjoy, enjoy some, some beer. Look what your boy grew up to be.